Dear friends, good morning. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome to our today's session. I am Mrs. Devi, retired lecturer in English. I am teaching you simple English. Dear friends, you have been sending me the messages. You have been sending, forwarding your comments in the comment section. For all that, I feel very, very happy. Your responses are very good, very interactive. I feel very happy for your responses and comments. I request you all to please subscribe my channel and to please leave your precious comments in the comment section and to please give a like and share this video session to other friends and other associated people you know. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Dear friends, in this session we are dealing with a very frequent structure of English. That frequent structure of English is what? Which is that structure? That is present perfect continuous tense. Present perfect continuous tense is a very very popular and very frequent tense used by everyone. Because it serves many purposes. We want to communicate to other, other people that we are doing a particular action. We are doing a particular thing. We are reading we are studying, we are living, we are painting, we are reaching, we are asking, we are finding. These are all continuous tense examples. Examples of continuous tense. Continuous tense, why we are quoting continuous tense now? Continuous tense, present continuous tense is related to present perfect continuous tense or present perfect tense continuous tense present perfect continuous tense is related that depends on present continuous tense they are mutually dependent so what is present continuous tense and what is present perfect continuous tense we discussed the examples we learned the examples of present continuous tense just now we have learned. I am teaching you. You are listening to me. He is reaching his office. She is painting. My mother is cooking. My brother is going to college. These are all the examples of present continuous tense. Okay. Now we have started this action in the past. We are just doing something in the present. That is present continuous tense. But there is a small difference between present continuous tense and present perfect continuous tense. You have started that action of present perfect continuous tense in the past some two days back or one year back okay, or two weeks back or last week or half an hour back like that. And you have started that you you started that action and you are continuing that action in the present also. Now, okay, the action that's been started in the past that is still continuing into the present that is called present perfect continuous tense. Got it? I think I have made my point clear to you all and you also got that point clear. So, that action should start in the past. The students went to college. Okay. They continue to go to college every day. The students went to college. They started going to college in June. Okay. Or one month back. They are still going to college. So, the action started one month back. They are still going. What does it mean? They are still, they are going to college. Now also, in the during present times also. So, the boys or the students have been going to college. The students have been going to college. That is present perfect continuous tense. Okay. Let us study one more example. Your sister painted a picture. Okay. She painted yesterday. It is not completed. It is not finished. Her painting is not finished. She is continuing it. 
She is painting today. She may paint tomorrow also, of course. That is future. So some action painting, the action of painting that started yesterday, that is continuing now. My, your sister has been painting the picture. What does it mean? It means she has painted yesterday. She is still continuing the action of painting in the present also. So the action that started in the past, that is yesterday, it is still continuing into the present. That is present perfect tense. This is a very frequently used tense, my dear learners of English. So I request you all to please give some examples of this tense. Present perfect continuous tense. This is a very frequent tense used in English. And please leave your comments with examples in the comment section. At least please give uh, one example. At least one example is sufficient. So that you could practice it further and further. You are practicing in your daily life. With your colleagues. With your friends. With your family members. Wherever you go. Wherever you go. You could uh, use that. Suppose you are a student. You have been assigned a project work. And you started doing that project work one week back. Your lecturer, your teacher, your madam, your sir has asked you, what is the status of your project work? You say to her, Madam, I have been doing my project work. What does it mean? You started doing the project work last week, one week ago. And you are still doing that project work given by your madam. And you we, we will be completing tomorrow, day after tomorrow in future. Okay, my dear learners of English, you could use this kind of frequent structure in English that is present perfect continuous tense many times more frequently in your situations. My mother has been cooking food. Your sister has been painting. You have been reaching office. See, my mother has been cooking food. What does it mean? She started some a while ago, some time back, maybe half an hour back or one hour back or two hours back. She is still cooking. She started some time back and see, she is still cooking. My mother has been cooking. Your sister has been painting. You have been reaching office. You have been reaching office. Okay. It means you started going to your office and uh, you are almost uh, there. You are about to reach. Okay. So this is how you have to use present perfect continuous tense successfully and more effectively, more comfortably. Okay. My dear learners of English, please leave your comments. I request you all to please subscribe my channel and give a like and share this video session to other friends and associated people of you and please give your precious comments. Thank you. Thank you very much.